guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you not a team of the season, Silver Player review. I know we've done about 12 in a row or something now, but we're actually going to be doing a hero card today. We're going to be doing Jose Pedro Fuenzadilla, or Fuenzalida, who uh, came out yesterday. He's a Chilean from a club that I'm not even going to... Uh, it's Uni Catolica? Catolica? If that's right, I'm very impressed with myself. If it's wrong, I'm not surprised because I get most things wrong as far as pronunciations go. If you haven't already checked out all of my Team of the Season player reviews, go and check them out. If you haven't checked out Team of the Season Sparvelis or Spalvis or whatever his name is, the Lithuanian guy that I did earlier today, go and check him out because I think you might be pleasantly surprised by that video. And also, get excited for the new Team of the Week because there is a couple of really good players. I think there's Eunice and Martinez, who are players that I love their non-informs. So I cannot wait to do their informed players, which I will probably do by tomorrow. Anyway, let's get into having a look at this guy's card stats. He has 83 pace, 76 dribbling, 70 shooting, 74 passing, 75 physical. Really high physical for a winger, which is cool. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. He cost me 24k. He's five foot seven with high, high work rates. His mental and physical stats look pretty solid as far as everything goes. I mean, really, in fact, a lot better than solid, really. I mean, his sprint speed and his acceleration are relatively decent. Decent. Not super high for Unger, but not bad. His skill attributes are good, but I think maybe I've been a little bit spoilt by the fact that I've had Team of the Seasons to play with recently. So obviously, normal informs don't necessarily get as big an upgrade. He can play as right back, uh, sorry, right wing or right back. Now that is important to say. I need to get into this video and I need to say. I'm, I'm sorry in advance because the clips are very uninspiring. I know my, my clips are usually relatively decent, but the, the, I just couldn't get any good clips with him. He's, he's sort of attacking-wise, he is not great. Finishing, long shots, all that sort of stuff weren't brilliant. Passing's okay. Is you, you know, <laughs> passing's okay. I wouldn't say it was special. Crossing's average. His curve is so poor. Like, you know, if you're going to whip a crossing, you've got to pretty much be in line with the player because he will not cross it. He will not curve it into them. I really felt like this guy was a right back who'd been stuck up at right wing. And he just, he was felt better defensively. Now, if you wanted to play him at 3-5-2 as a sort of right, mid uh, right midfielder with, you know, a decent defensive sort of work rates because he's got high, high work rates. So he'll get up and down that pitch and he has decent stamina. I, I can't really see why you'd play him anywhere else other than that because he just doesn't really offer anything going forward, which is really disappointing from the first hero card that I've actually reviewed since... Well, I mean, it's the first hero card I've actually ever reviewed on this YouTube channel. You can see his positives and negatives here. I mean, obviously his negatives, as I said, if you're happy for him to be a defensive style player, maybe his defensiveness isn't, isn't something that you have to class as a negative. Maybe you class it as a positive. Um, but as you can see, I've talked about most of them. I, I think... It was just so disappointing for a winger not to be that great at crossing. He was just okay. He wasn't great at long shots, which I sort of expect from a winger to a certain extent. Outside, it, I was disappointed he didn't have four-star skill moves. I mean, it's not a, a deciding factor, but it is something that sort of disappoints me because he felt like he should have. I've given him a 6.5 out of 10 because I felt like he was just dead average. He sort of didn't offer anything that I couldn't have got from a very, very, a very much cheaper player. There's quite a lot of good Chilean wingers. I've, I've said he feels like a 69 to a 72. I certainly didn't feel like a special 74. And you could say that I have been spoiled by the team this season. But I have obviously used an awful lot of informs throughout the time that I've been doing YouTube. And this guy didn't feel informed at all. Anyway, guys, for end chat today, what is the best silver perfect link on Fever 16? I'm really interested to know this. I love, you know, building squads, building sort of hybrids and stuff. And if that's something you'd like to see in a series, let me know because there's lots of different uh, teams that I've made before that I'd love to show you. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know who you're looking forward to me reviewing next. Cheers, guys.